In last month's provincial election, Albertans cast the largest numbers of vote ever for a political party in our province. In doing so, Albertans gave our government a very strong mandate to restore the Alberta Vantage, to get Alberta back to work, and to turn Alberta once again into a key engine of Canadian prosperity. We have an ambitious agenda that will start with the Carbon Tax Repeal Act. The carbon tax is all economic pain with no environmental gain. Not even its proponents have been able to uh, estimate a reduction in emissions while the tax makes the lives of ordinary Albertans more expensive. Passing the Carbon Tax Repeal Act will mean that ordinary people will no longer be punished for heating their homes and driving to work. Following this, uh, following the Carbon Tax Repeal Act, we will pass the Open for Business Act. That act will make it more attractive for job creators to invest in Alberta again by reversing the massive new costs on businesses imposed by the previous government. It will protect the rights of hardworking Albertans while reducing red tape for those who create jobs. Next, we'll implement the job creation tax cut. If passed, this act will reduce taxes on employers from 12% to 8%. That's a cut of one third by 2022. It will give Alberta by far the lowest general business tax rate in Canada and one of the lowest in North America. And that will attract investment, start new businesses and create jobs. Businesses and investors are already, already responding to the job creation tax cut and we haven't even tabled it yet. I expect that we will move about a dozen pieces of legislation before we depart before the, for the summer. The other pieces will fulfill education promises, help newcomers work to their full training and experience and keep paying the bills until government tables a budget in the fall.